All right, so today we're gonna go over the Robel pole method to measure biomass. I picked this method because I'm a wildlife major and this gives you a better idea of what's going on in the environment other than just telling you what the biomass is. So these are our supplies for our Robel pole method. You're gonna have two poles, meter length each, and they're separated by four meters of string. The pole with the uh, bands on it is what you use to measure the biomass and usually you have a lovely assistant. Cam is my lovely assistant and he's going to help me to keep the sticks apart and measure exactly what we have for biomass. Alright so we're going to use our Robel pole method today to estimate the condition and biomass of this nice field out here. What you do is you have your pole, it's about a meter tall, banded down here, gives you a and numbered it gives you something to go off of when you're shooting your direction. You're going to take this other pole out, it's on a string that's four meters long, going to each cardinal direction and you're going to see which band you can see, the lowest one down that you can see even if it's through a hole in the coverage, and record that from each cardinal direction. Do that at multiple points around and then that'll give you uh, the average of what your biomass condition is. All right, so for cardinal directions, down that way is south, east over there, west over there, that'll be north. We'll start off with west, just, or east, I'm sorry, we're on that side. <coughs> just going to take your pole out, length of your string, set your other pole down. You're going to crouch down so that your eye is at the same level every time. And you're going to see which band you can you stop seeing the pole at. So. From here, I can see the very last red band and the white part right underneath that. You're going to walk back over, see what your number is. According to that, I can see number four from the east side. Can we walk down to the south? grass over here and I lose the pole at the bottom orange band. That's going to give us an 11. So we'll take it out to the north here. all those together and that'll give you your number for this point. So this is the view from the top of our pole and as you can see you can barely see the very top of that last red band. 